Welcome back. So in this first part of the task, we are going to take a look at how to create color style in a more practical approach. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to delete these things right here and I'm going to click uh, deselect so I can select this and hit delete select this as well and hit delete right now you can see under local styles i have nothing so the first thing i want us to create is our color style guide so when it comes to colors we're going to have different a different class where we talk about colors in depth but for now i'm going to show you an easy way to create color palettes for your design okay so i'm just going to draw some frames out here let me draw five frames okay um let's just make them so that we're on the same page okay let's just make them 100 by 100 okay so let's start with our primary color so i want you to go to this website materialui.co slash colors okay so once you're here you can see different um hue values right here that you can choose and start designing okay so what i want us to do i want us to come to the bottom part and you can see they are actually divided into one two one two one two one two one two one two okay, and so on and so forth so i want us to come to this blue right here okay this particular blue right here that's the a700 okay this particular blue right here not this first one this one so let's click on it once you click on it it's going to copy the value so let's go back to figma and we are going to impute that value here and paste it okay enter so this will be our primary color okay let's go ahead and call this primary okay and for our neutrals let's duplicate this usually you can duplicate this by basically doing control d right so we're going to have that right there so primary color let's go ahead and get our system colors before we work on the, the neutral and the global colors so for our system color the first one we talked about is success so let's take a look at our success and usually success is green so let's come back here so let's move to green so we want to use this one right here this green right here remember one two one two one two one two one two so we want to use this green right here okay and come back here paste it right there so the reason why we're using that is because they are in the same color region okay so let's have the next one which is warning so for warning we want to go with something like yellow like the amber so back here one two 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 so want to use this one okay pick this and come here change it paste it right there we have it there and control d to duplicate come back here pick this red one this one okay and paste it right here okay so for this uh this blue and i'm just going to have two more one uh, sorry ctrl d ctrl d so this particular one we're going to make white so click here drag it all the way that's fff that's white and for this one we want to make it black so you have to like drag it all the way down to black okay you can use this black or this other black okay so we have our two um global colors white and black and the next thing i want to do now is to generate our neutral colors for that i want to click on this primary color okay uh let's call this neutral but we'll still retype all these things let's call this neutral so i want to click on this i want to make sure it's my primary color then i click here then i want to drag this i want to desaturate it all the way to this region okay it's very important all the way to this region okay make sure you don't shift this color okay so i'm going to drag this all the way to this region so it's always better when you have numbers that are almost close like this e0 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 it's awesome but uh, i just want to move it maybe a little bit on e3 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 okay i think this is perfect right so make sure you don't change this because if you change it it's going to have a tint 
of a color that is not our primary color and it might you know it might look off so this is what we want to do now to start generating our colors if you notice you can go ahead and start designing with this color but the best thing you can do right now is to generate different shades now in another class we will take a look at colors in depth but for now i'm going to show you a quick way to generate different shades of color for your project okay so what i want you to go ahead and do now is to go to figma so like i told you guys in the previous class when you want to extend the functionality of these tools here figma has something called plugins so you have to go to plugins and get those plugins for yourself so to get plugins simply click on this figma here this figma icon here then you go to plugins then i want you to go to manage plugins and i want you to search for foundation color generator foundation color generator okay this is it right here and once you see this foundation color generator i want you to click on run okay so once you click on run it's going to run this for us so we are going to use this particular plugin to generate different shades of all these colors it makes the whole thing easy okay so let me just bring it somewhere around here so first you want to choose your profiles okay you want to choose your profiles and i'm going to go ahead and choose this material design remember this material design is the one from google okay so let's click on material design and we are going to impute all these colors here and then watch it generate all the shades for us so let's start with the first one which is our primary color i want to go ahead and copy that color ctrl c and i'm coming here to paste it ctrl v then just click somewhere outside you can see it has generated all those shades for us okay the next thing i want to do now is instead of this blue you see where you have name instead of blue i want to go ahead and type in primary there so i don't want it to be blue 50 blue 100 okay so just type in primary there and the next thing you want to do is to hit create styles it's as simple as that and once you do that you can see 10 style created and if you deselect you see 10 style created for us under the foundation style okay let's go ahead come back here and repeat the same thing for the success copy the success color come in here paste it and don't forget to change the name to success okay you want to click on create style remember you want to make sure it's still on material so let's click on the warning okay copy and you want to paste it here and you want to come here and type in warning and you want to go ahead and click on create styles okay then i want to take a look at the uh, okay i think we want to take a look at this red one sorry the red one is error so let's come here and type in errors okay let's go ahead uh, let's just say error okay now let's go ahead and click on create styles now for our neutral we want to go ahead and copy this color paste it right here and hit this and we want to type in neutral okay so basically the neutral this light ones you use them for background dark one use them for your text so let's go ahead and click on create styles and for our black and and uh, let's go ahead and close this for our white and black so we're just going to call this white and black okay black okay uh, let's just call it white and black and for this we are going to use the a good old style of just coming here click here and select you know the plus sign okay and you want to just type in white okay create style and the black you want to go ahead click on the style menu click on the plus sign and then type in black okay create styles and we are good to go so if you okay now if you take a look at this you can see that we have our color style white and black we have the primary we have the success the warning the neutral and the error so what i want you to do is you can click this click on it click click hold down shift while selecting everything and you just want to move it above that foundation right there because we don't need that foundation right there so right now we have all this 
clearly and neatly arranged here so we are good to go we've created our color palette but now what we just want to create is like a documentation because right now we don't need we don't have a documentation if we want to show this to someone to say okay this is the color uh, guide we've developed they don't have time to come and be checking the properties from here so we need like a documentation that will show them okay this is this and this is for this color and for that i want you to go back to your plugin file plugin and let's go to manage and i want you to type in automatic style guide automatic automatic style guide okay that is it. this plugin right here once you see it you are going to click on run okay and what it's going to do is to take all the style guides that we've developed and create a documentation for it so click on it automatic style guide and you're going to say generate style guide okay or run so it's loading automatic style guide and what this is going to do is to create a style guide documentation for us on another page and we're going to take a look at it is currently running okay voila it is done and now when you come down here on your page you can see that page that says style guide once you click on it you are going to see a complete documentation of our color neatly placed for us you can see the colors we have here okay you can come here just change this color to global okay you can change it to global so we have global white and black so we have our primary we have our uh, success there we have warning we have error and we have our neutrals right there so if you are here congratulations you've just created your color guide and see you in the next section where we create the typography guide